a struggle. Target disc mode. Welcome to the vlog. I'm going to nerd out on you today at 965 or 966. I don't even know. Um, new Retina 13 inch MacBook Pro, mom's sister. This is the old one. This is actually my first Mac right here. This is the, is it an early 09? Um, 13 inch MacBook Pro. It's the 2.53. I think my dad has the 2.66. This is the 253 Core 2 Duo. Four gigabytes of 1067 megahertz RAM. Four gigs. I mean, there was, I remember thinking that four gigs was a lot, and that's been like five years. That machine has 16 gigabytes. So, yeah, time for an upgrade. Anyways, this is the uh, latest, what is that, mid 12, early 13, uh, 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina, the uh, 2.6. This is the i5, not the i7. 2.6 gigahertz i5, 8 gigs of DDR3, 1600 megahertz RAM, a 256 gig solid state drive, which is making this thing fly over the. I don't even know how, how big this drive is. 250? 320? Let's find out. It's a 249. It's a 250 gig drive. So 6 gigabytes more storage, but. Um, yeah, there's 16 gigs left here, but there's so much crap on this computer that it'll probably end up with about 100 left. So we're copying stuff. My mom's account is all set up, working on Lindsay's account now. 52 gigs of music and 27 gigs of photos copying. Looks like it wants about an hour to finish moving that over through Target Disk Mode and Firewire 800. All right, well, I just talked to Rosvon for a little bit. He's coming back Sunday. He's, he's got a red eye, like Saturday night, Los Angeles to, I don't know if it's direct, but LA, probably into Cleveland. So he's going to be back Sunday, he's probably going to sleep all day, and I'm really hoping we get to see him Sunday night. We miss you, bud, it's been too long. So, uh, look forward to that Sunday. Still doing file transfers over here. Fun fact, the old MacBook Pro has been plugged in to its MagSafe now for like, uh, I'm, I've been working on this about two hours, it's been plugged in for an hour and 45 minutes. The new computer, shipped with 84% power, has not been plugged in at all and still has at least 20% left. Now I have the MagSafe right here ready to plug it in so I don't screw up the, the transfer. But wow, yeah, battery life way better over there as expected. So, uh, let's see, seven minutes left to copy 52 gigs of music, about an hour left to copy 27 gigs of photos. Well, that's because I think it's put in priority into sending over the music data. Once that finishes, it'll probably want like five or 10 minutes to finish that. So, and then we're done, I think. I think I didn't want to do a time machine backup because it will restore all of the garbage. So I only had to restore bookmarks, the documents folder, the downloads folder, iTunes library, and iPhoto library. Five things through FireWire on two accounts in two hours. Not too bad, not too bad. Check it out. We're recording on an iPhone, something that usually doesn't happen on uh, the JRS vlog. Let's stalk the neighbors. Oh, windows open. They can hear me. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Well, it's like 7.45 probably. I've been sitting right here most of the day, um, moving data, content, information. Between these two devices, setting up two accounts on the Retina, not so much on the non-Retina. So I figured with the iPhone here, we'll do the little comparison of the 13-inch. Now, that's a 13-inch MacBook Pro 2009 unibody, uh, same as the early 08 MacBook, except the bottom of it's one piece. You can't change the stuff with little trap doors. But just look at that. You guys know that's the difference. It's doesn't look like a lot, but it certainly is. It feels like it's about maybe only two thirds the weight of the other one. Definitely way thinner. Same goes for the display when that shut. Look at that difference. Significantly thinner, significantly lighter, significantly faster. Uh, let's do a little boot comparison here. That's not even fair though uh, saying that the 13 inch on the right has uh, software on it from oh man probably three four years ago now and that was new today uh, with the 256 gig SSD so I'll even give this one the uh, benefit of the doubt here get a nice little start going on earlier there you can even hear the CD thing spool up speaking of which I just bought the Apple um, USB DVD reader 
DVD burner thing. Um, so I have to pick that up in a store in a couple days. So the Retina is on and ready to go. They're both plugged into power. We'll click a user account here. Just going to want the password. Okay. And there it is. It even decided to open iMessage for me. So that's ready. The 5400 RPM hard drive here is still thinking away, only with 4 gigs of RAM and the Core 2. But it isn't so much the boot time with the non-Retina as much everything else that has just made this machine so slow. So, I don't know if I know her password. Oh yeah, and this doesn't click. Look. It's supposed to be like that. That doesn't click at all. So I tried to touch her username, and of course we beach ball, and then we think, and now we're still trying to log in. So we're at 2 minutes and 40 seconds into this clip. I'm sorry, I'm wasting your time. There we have a desktop, but then we wait even more for the dock. Dad, maybe you see now why this computer is a bit of a lost cause. Still waiting on that dock. Okay, we load that. Saw it was a little uh, little sluggish there. We'll give it a couple seconds here to kind of acclimate itself. And then we'll open uh, Safari, the browser. We'll do a touch there and a click here. There it is. Then we get to sit and bounce. And bounce and think. And this is how it is even if it's been on for a half an hour. The trash can is empty. I've run Clean My Mac 2 on it. Cleared out like 6 gigs of cache, system cache, user cache, all of that stuff. Even once it gets it open, look how long it takes to load the exact same web page. Oh, alright, well, her homepage will be Yahoo. Yeah, so even if it's not only speed. Let's come in and look at the mail icon here. Camera's about 2, now 3 inches away from the screen. Um, can you see pixels? Yeah, actually you can. The iPhone 5 is powerful enough to, to view those pixels. Let's look over here. That's a lot different, isn't it? From here, two feet away, I can count every single pixel on the display. It's dicked. Back on the flip. So last night I updated Final Cut Pro from 10.0.4 to 10.0.8. 10.0.9 is the latest one, but the pirate bay. <clears throat> I don't know what that was. I didn't have 10.09, so we're still on 10.08 with that. I um, noticed, I actually haven't edited anything in it. I just kind of played with it last night. It was a big file to download, 4 gigs, I think, installed in like 3 seconds. I love solid state drives. Everything is just so instantaneous, and it lasts longer. The only con is, of course, a 512 gig SSD and my 15 inch retina cost me like 400 bucks, whereas. For $400, you could set up like a, a freaking raid out the ass, 12 terabytes of 7200 RPM drives, but whatever. Storage, what's storage do for you? What do you do with 12 terabytes if it's all really slow? That's like driving a limo versus an M3. Yeah, so you haven't heard me talk specs and talk nerd stuff for a while. Well, I still, I still have it. You guys don't know, maybe. I was a PC guy for a long time, until 2010. Early January 13th, 2010, I switched to a Mac, and I will never go back to Windows. Once you have a Mac and you see, like, what do you, how do you manage photos on a PC? What do you do? Windows Explorer, and you make files, and then you go through these or folders, and you go through these folders and look up your files? How does that work? There, there's no iPhoto equivalent on a PC, as far as I know. I mean, my photo library on the PC was a folder called Pictures with 40,000 subfolders, and then all of those folders had files named DSC001.jpg. What the hell is that? When you can go on iPhoto and click and see where your photos are taken, and there's your faces, and there's the dates, and then I subcategorize into albums with summer 2012, summer 2013. Uh, San Diego, March 2013, stuff like that. It just makes so much more sense. And then the whole iTunes thing, don't even get me started on that. You kind of already did. It, for me, it's so much better. And and then that's it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to sit down now and get something to eat because I'm hyperventilating at 7.30 p.m. I have nothing to do. YouTube and emails are caught up, friggin' rights. So I guess I'm going to sit here on the computer and find more work to do.
pouring down rain again. And I'm under the hood. Uh, cleaning the, the driver's side. I did the passenger side earlier in the week. Took all of this uh, air intake components off. Uh, clean filter out. Took all the stuff off the strut tower. Clean that. Today, this side, yeah, I actually took all this stuff off. I took the bracket off. It's just a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts. Cleaned all of that. Cleaned the power steering fluid that inevitably leaks. No injury. I'm not putting a sock on there. <laughs> uh, cleaned all of that. Strut tower down there. I didn't do the actual frame or anything because that's, that's stupid. That's like it's like cleaning out your trash can, but yeah, we did that. I cleaned under there the, the brake booster and that stuff before, checked all fluids. Uh, everything is in place except one of these airbox lid clips on each side. I'm missing one on each side. I can't find them online. I found these that connect a mass airflow sensor. Um, so I bought two of those. I didn't know they were those. I bought two of them and I couldn't figure out why they couldn't fit. Well, I, I bought those. I need those and I can't find them. And I dropped one down there in the engine and had to use this. A magnet on the end of a stick and I did find it. Check that out. That's pretty clean. I like that. I'm not going to go crazy with the power washer and grease all this stuff up. I need to clean the top of the plenum yet, but some people make all this stuff really shiny and then it just looks cheap and fake. just wrote a very lengthy article on E39 source trying to promote the site a little bit more, put more content up there regarding the entire Zano process on the outside of the car. It's a hefty article. It's published. It's live. Go read about it. I just wrote that. Uh, it's like 1,520 words. It took me about an hour and a half. Talked to Bobby on the phone for a while while I did that. Email's mostly done. couple YouTube videos tonight. I'm going to go finish that, edit this together, smash it up on the YouTube TVs tomorrow, Saturday. I'm going to finish my chocolate milk, and I'll talk to you then. Good night. Mm. That's good. Good night.